This episode begins with Lee in confronting Wong Wu about his return. He suspects Wong Wu aims to murder him. Wong Wu asks why Li Yin thinks so and Li Yin says, because he did not save Hong Zhang despite the pleas. Wong Wu's comment at the Boduk table confirmed his suspicions. Wong Wu apparently does not harbor any ill intention towards the king. Li Yin says something which only reflects his state of mind after losing Wong Wu three years ago. His friend, whom Wong Wu is indebted to now, suggests having a celebratory drink for Mong Wu's success. Myung Ho warns him to not get close to Mong Wu. Li In remembers the day when he and Mong Wu first played. He warned Mong Wu to not be swayed by any temptation or sell favors if he wants to win Li Ain's trust. Mong Wu will be beheaded by Mr. Ju if he is found guilty. Mong Wu leaves and finds court lady approaching the Yong Chu Jin. Mr. Ju stops the court lady from going inside. Hu insists on taking the herbal medicine to the king herself, but is stopped. She is curious about Mong Wu too. Mong Wu discusses the situation with the official from earlier, before excusing himself to retire for the night. The official insists on having a meal to celebrate Mong Wu's appointment, but he politely refuses. Li In discusses Mong Wu with Mr. Jo. He asks Mr. Zhou to keep a close eye on him, inquiring about the memorial service for the former king, Li Sun. Ma Zhou updates him on the matter and is dismissed. Li Ins royal mother and his uncle discuss Mong Wu's appointment and their next plan to secure their hold on Li In. Mong Wu is followed by some royal guards. He keeps up his appearance until he's home. After the guards leave, he Su faints and her personal maid is not happy. She reprimands Dal Ha too. Dal Ha and Hisu discuss her interaction with Lian, and Hisu's further action plan as Gidariam. At the same time, Lian studies Mong Wu's Boduk game. Court Lady Dong requests entry into Yong Chujin, but is met with stern dismissal from Lian. She reminds him of his promise and he gives in, but on the condition that she become proficient in Boduk. Alternatively, she can fight Mr. Jo and win her place there. The following morning, Mer Jo and Li and discuss Kang Mong Wu and Li Ins affairs of the day. Everyone at the palace looks surprised to see Mong Wu. Myung Ha is assigned to draft promotion letters. He notices that Hyung Bo will finally return to court. Li Myung Ha inserts a notice for the king, but is reprimanded by his superior. The superior tells Myung Ha to deliver a Boduk table. Mong Wu is surprised to see Myung Ha deliver it himself. Myung Ha asks the reason of Mong Wu's return. There is a lot of bitterness between them still. Mong Wu invites him to join hands in taking revenge upon the king. Shortly after, Li Yin and Mong Wu play a game of Boduk. Mong Wu clearly has something to ask of the king. He says that he does not play with Atha Bet if Li Yin wins. He can take Mong Wu's life, but if Mong Wu wins then Lian has to grant a wish. Whatever it may be, Mong Wu won't beg to spare his life, but Lian agrees. The same night, Shu Dao Ha and He Su discuss their next plan of action. Dao Ha and He Su's servant head to the gambling den to collect their shares. They end up in a fight but Hyang Bo relieves the battle. Dao Ha and the servant leave while Hyang Bo and Ma Huan meet the same night. Hyang Bo says he relieved the fight and Mong Wu's trust, assuring Ma Huan he will make Mong Wu kneel. The following day, Hyang Bo appears in court. He seeks for counsel from the principal director aka the king's uncle. He threatens Hyang Bo about his appointment. Myung Ha is agitated to see Hyang Bo. Myung Ha soon finds Mong Wu and informs about Hyang Bo's arrival. He shows Mong Wu another route to Yong Chui Jing and they come across the peach tree. 